Hi, hello, welcome back to Azure Bash and Learning Series. In this video, I'm going to speak about few common issues with Azure Bash and how to troubleshoot without raising a support ticket. So let's get started. Before we get started with the troubleshooting part, let's try to understand the data flow. Let's consider you are a user who try to log into Azure portal. So this communication happens on port 443. It's an SSL traffic, which happens on port 443. And once you logged into a portal, you navigate to a VM to which you want to RTP or SSH and click on connect button and type in your credentials and click on OK. When you click on OK, your browser gets redirected to a Bashin URL through which you will be able to connect to the Bashin directly from internet on port 443. One thing what I just wanted to emphasize here is you can only connect to Bashin from internet via portal. So we cannot just copy the URL which portal gives you to connect to Bashin and directly connect from your new window or anything. So basically the authentication happens via portal and as of today, you can only connect to Bashin using Azure portal. So, so basically the communication between the user and the bashing happens over internet on port 443 right so this is one part of the session so once the connectivity is made to azure bashing what azure bashing does is it communicate to the vm to which you wanted to log in over private ip address let's consider this bashing has an ip address of uh, let's say i have put this bashing in uh, our address space or a subnet of 172.16.1.0 so your bashin will have an ip address so it's it's basic bashin is basically a vms a scale set so you will be able to see private ip address of the bashin so let's say let's assume that bashin is going to use the ip address 172.16.1.5 right so bashin is going to use this as source ip address and let's let's assume your vm has an ip address of 172.16.2.5 so the communication between the bashin and the vm is going to happen over the private ip address when you take a packet capture in the vm you will be able to see the source IP address as 172.16.1.5 and destination IP address as 172.16.2.5. So this communication is going to happen over port. This communication is going to happen on port 22 if it is a Linux and 3389 if it is a Windows Mir. So let me just show you a few common scenarios what would have happened, right? So when you speak about the connectivity part, there can there are two places where the connectivity might be you know uh, lost. One is this: the connectivity between the user and the bashin might be lost, so that you lo you lose RDP connection, or the connectivity might be dropping because of some issues between the Azure bashin subnet and the VM subnet. So I have two scenarios. I can show you a live demo of possible. Um, I'll show you a live demo, demo with um, with the issue and how to resolve them. Let's get started with the first scenario. I'm going to open my Bashin NSG which we have already created. So this NSG is already associated to the subnet of Bashin. So we have three rules, one inbound and two outbound rules created. The inbound rule is to allow any destination coming from a source of gateway manager on port 443 is allowed. Any traffic to Azure Cloud on port 443 is outbound allowed. Any traffic to virtual network with outbound port 3389 and 22 is allowed. So with this setup, let's go ahead and try to access our VM. So this is my VM. I'm going to click on connect. I'll select Bashin. I'll type in my username and password. 
I'm going to press F2 and I'll show you what's going to happen. So when I connect, there's a request called Who Am I? It's an API call which is made to Azure Passion. You can see there is no response for this call. So basically from my VM or from my machine, I'm not able to connect to Bash and Watch itself. As I, as I have shown you before, the connectivity between the connectivity connectivity between the browser and the bash and go host is going to happen on public ip address on port 443 so as it, as you can see the connectivity to the um, bash and host itself is failed so you will not be able to reach or rdp or ssh to the vm so if you get an error saying that the site cannot be reached or it is getting timed out all you need to, all you need to do is to go back to your bash and subnet if you have one go to your navigate to your bash and subnet and make sure that you have an inbound port 44 inbound rule created on port 443 source ip address as any right so from internet you should be able to permit or allow a connection to the bash and subnet so i'm going to go ahead and create a rule source is any destination is any destination port as 443 so the moment i create this rule i am basically allowing any traffic from internet to the bash and subnet on port 443 so the moment you do that when you try to connect from your browser you will be able to rdp to the vm so the rule creation is done so let me just go ahead and refresh it and check whether the rule is created. Yeah, the rule is created over here. Now let's go ahead and try to RDP again. So here I'm going to bash in. I'm going to type in username and password. And click on connect. And I'll press F2. Click on connect again. The NSG rule creation might take some time. As you can see, you got a response 204 and I'm able to successfully RDP to the machine, right? So this is one of the common scenario. When you get a um, timeout, which means you don't have, a, you, you're not even able to connect to the bash and, sub, bash and host itself. The reason may be, if you have an NSG, make sure that you have opened 443 port for the internet to connect to it, or else you will not be able to connect. So this is, this is one of the common scenarios where you might not have added a rule to uh, allow port 443 inbound for any, um, any source. So that may be a, a common scenario. So if that is the case, go ahead and create an inbound rule on port 443 as a destination source as any so that you will be able to successfully connect to the bash and host. The second scenario comes in when you have a NSG assigned to your VM where you are blocking port 3389 or port 22. So let me go to my VM. I will navigate to the NSG which is already created. So this is a default NSG which is there. All I'm going to do is I'm going to add one more rule, inbound rule. It's a deny rule. The source can be any. The destination is virtual network. And destination port is 3389. And uh, I'm going to deny this. Deny 3389 is the name that I'm going to give. So, what I'm doing is this rule basically the blocks any traffic which is coming from the from any source to the to the virtual network on port 3389. So since I deleted this. When I try to connect to this VM, the you should be able to connect to the Bashan, but the communication between the Bashan and the VM is lost. So I will show you the error that you're going to get. So if you're getting this error in the future, what you need to do is you need to make sure that the VM, the VM's NSG is allowing port 3389 for the virtual network. So I'm going to type in my username and my password. So when I connect, I should be able to see connected to Bashin pop-up. 
So now I'm successfully connected to the Bashan. In the bottom right, you will be able to see network connection to the Bashan host appears unstable. So it waits it waits for some time, and once the operation or the or the TCP timeout happens, you will be able to see this error. The connection has been closed because the target machine is taking too long to respond. This is usually caused by network problems such as uh, wide bad wireless signal or slow internet speed. So basically, what happens here is the communication between the bash and, and the VM is lost because of the energy rule which I have created. So when you get this error, make sure you navigate to the VM and check in the NSG of any deny rule for port 3389 within the virtual network. So let me just go ahead and delete this and reconnect again to show you how it works. So the delete operation takes a while. So in the meanwhile, let me go back to my bashing and type in my username and password. So let me close the session first. Yeah. So I have typed in my username and password. So when I click connect now, I should be able to successfully log in since I have deleted the rule which is blocking the connection between um, the bash and the host. Let me try it again because it just I just deleted this VM. So let me give it a shot again. Since I deleted the rule, it may take some time to reflect. So I'm just going to try try again. Let's see if it connects now. Yeah, there you go. So so that can be two culprit. Um, either you might not have a, a correct set of rules configured in the NSG, which is there in the Bastion subnet, or you might not have proper rules allowed on the sub on the NSG which is applied on the NIC of the VM. So based on the error that you're getting, you kind of need to figure out why and where it is blocking and you should be able to understand why it is and and and, and based on having a right rule set yeah, inbound on outbound rules of your NSG, the problem can be easily resolved. And third common issue is when you type try to type in the username and wrong password. So I'm just typing a wrong password here and click on connect. You will be getting an error. So when you get this sort of error, so I'm yeah, successfully able to connect to Bashan from Bashan to VM when I try to connect, I'm getting an error saying that the target machine is either currently unreachable or username or password is incorrect. So when you get this sort of error, make sure you RDP to any of the other VM, right? Other VM in the same subnet or VNet and try to RDP from there and check if you're able to successfully RDP or not. So, so it can be a connectivity issue or it can even be a password or username and password incorrect issue. So make sure that you have enter right username and password or if you're able to, you can even go ahead and reset your password um, or else you can try to RDP to another VM. From there, you can try to connect to this with the same credential and check whether it is because of a connectivity issue or is it because of the username and password issue. Right. So these are all the basic um, three common scenarios or three common errors that you usually get with connectivity to Bashan. I hope you guys, you guys all enjoyed it. Thank you.